It is. And I'm coming to you guys with a cooking video. Finally, it's been like two to three weeks since I did a cooking video for y'all. It's been really delayed. Um, last week I had the fast show. The week, TK, I don't have a grandpa. The week before it was kind of a, it was kind of busy and it was Easter, so my mom did most of the cooking. And then uh, the Sunday before that, yeah, you guys, I was doing um, pretty much working on the outfits. So, like, I really didn't have any time to cook for real at all. But today, we are going to try this recipe, which is a creamy Cajun sausage and shrimp pasta and i was going to put it over my um keto, my keto noodles. tk can you keep it down i was going to put it on my keto over my keto noodles y'all but i figured since i've been so good this week i'll just put it over some cornmeal pasta so these are the ingredients that you'll need to make this recipe vegetable broth whipping cream Spices of your choices. Make sure you use Creole Cicadina. Creole somewhere in there. I'm using um, garlic powder, onion powder, the Weber New Orleans Cre Creole, and um, spicy. I'm almost out of the Tonys, so I bought a second one. Uh, you're going to need extra virgin olive oil, Parmesan cheese, add extra cheese if you want to. Cicadina. Where's my plate? It's in the freezer cooling off. And like I told you guys, I'm gonna use far-filled pasta. You need chopped onions, um, either fresh or frozen. I prefer to use them frozen because they're already chopped and ready for you, as well as the pepper and onion blend. Speaking of pepper and onions, I really don't even need the onions if I already got pepper and onion blend. Makes no sense, you guys. And then you're gonna need your Cajun sausage and your shrimp. Shrimp is in the bottom of this pan, you guys. And then, let me get this food ready, y'all. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I put my shrimp and sausage in a pot already because the first recipe is to mix it with olive oil in the seasoning. So that's what we're gonna just jump right on into. So we're gonna throw some garlic powder, onion powder, heavy on the creole. And a little salt. I don't use a lot of salt, y'all. Go, y'all know I got high blood pressure. Seriously, so. see, see, mommy. There we go. All the salt we're gonna get, and then we're gonna pour some of our olive oil in there. Then when everything's coated, what the heck? It should look like this. And then we're just gonna put it in our skillet. Who is that? Bruh. Yes. What is that? Oh, it's Bruh. Bruh. It's pasta. Pasta. All right. What is this? TK, it's pasta. This? Yes, it's pasta. <laughs> right, so we're going to let our sausage. Where's ravioli cheese? TK, you might have ravioli cheese. All right, what do you want with your chicken? I want strawberries and what else? Okay. All right, guys, we're gonna let that cook. I'm gonna put my pasta on, and then I will be back. All right, guys, here is our finished shrimp and sausage in the pot with the same seasoning on it. You are going to add some butter. I'm gonna let that butter melt down. 
And then, well, good job, baby. You just showering down on that chicken. I was. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So you are letting the butter melt down. And then once that butter is melted down, we are going to add our pepper and onion blend. Guys, we are going to add our vegetable broth. All right, and then we're going to let that simmer. All right, y'all. Next, we take our heavy whipping cream and we're going to add it in. And I'm putting a good amount of it in there because I made a good amount of pasta. And not to mention, we still have to have it coat um the meat as well so we want to make sure that we have more than enough sauce so i'm just going to fill this whole thing up add a little bit more not too much honestly because i just remembered i have to put the the shrimp and sausage back in there so we don't want to super over it that's enough so yeah what are you doing What is that? Mix. What is what? This. My sauce. And what is on the pan? Peppers, Aww. onions, heavy whipping cream. Look. That's cute, baby. What's this is that say? My detective handy dandy notebook. Aww, good job, baby. Alright, y'all. So we have added our cheese in. And we are just going to gently knead it into the mix. Gently knead it in because it's already high up there. I'm just going to watch it as it melts down. And it's going to absorb a lot of this juice too. Remember with cheese you have to constantly stir but you do not want your cheese to stick to the bottom of your pan and burn yeah, I'm gonna increase the heat on this a little bit more to kind of give this a boil start our pasta How's it looking all right I'm gonna finish this up and I will be back with the final product but it is almost done so I'll be back soon. All right, guys, and this is the final look. I'm about to go chow down. I know I'm not gonna eat all of this. I don't even know why I made a plate this big, but you can add more cheese on top if you want to. But that is it. So our rest of our sauce, ready to be meal prepped onto the rest of the pasta. Good to go. So comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought about this recipe. Let me know if you try it. And until next time, you guys. See ya.